Welcome back, guys, to part two of the first episode of the Rise to Elysium series that both I, Vralka, and Zebolt are running. Last time, you saw us create Fort Friendship after a bit of hassle to get there. You also saw us create the beginning of our farm and mine. This part of the episode, we're then going to get set up with a smeltery, and we're also going to do a bit more mining. I hope you guys do enjoy it. I'll see you all at the other side. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. What's up? I'm on my last taco. Haha, <laughs> I got three left. But I'm almost... I'm hungry right now. Yeah. Oh god, bane of my life. This stuff, of course, grows slower. Because iguana. I think iguana tweaks is going to become the new Greg Tech. There is also Greg Tech. There is also Greg Tech on this. <laughs> we're going to be like, oh god, iguana tweaks, no. <laughs> and yeah, then once right, we've done now. with that, we're going to be like, oh no, <laughs> Greg Tech. <laughs> Greg Tech isn't that bad once you get used to it. I probably isn't. Okay, so I've got the nine seared bricks for the base of the smeltery. That's a good start. Um, and so what I was thinking was um, that this um, little... Oh, just in here. We'd put it in here. Like, like right here? We could put it right here. That would work. That would actually work really well. All right, if we start with it at this level... Yeah, we could center it so that I guess the floor block would be right here. Well, I was going to go one Except lower, but... Wall. Yeah. I just said go one lower and place the floor box where I've put... where I've dug down to. I meant to do that. Okay. Just FYI. Okay, I'm sure you did. So the smeltery controller will be right here, and then we can dig out around it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can have all of our like casting basins... And think we can build like a small. Um, actually, we can dig in here and have the cast have like a little bit. You go in for the casting basins. Yeah, I like that. That's a lot better than my original idea. What were you originally gonna have an idea for? I was originally gonna like have this like cobblestone slab staircase like come out and then go just into the earth over there and we'd hollow that out but I like this much better okay. much better um, and I need flint is it just one piece of flint to fully repair your pick no you actually need two a piece of flint won't quite do half the repair that you for a flint tool So yeah.
-hmm. The rates on this gravel are terrible. Yep. There we go. Right, so you see I've moved that because we're going to have to have a wall here. Mm -hmm. so. We might also want one right... Oh no, we won't need one right there. Um, and then here. I mean, I doubt we're going to go this high very soon, but it's good to have it open. But I am going to put a cover on it. A cover? Mm -hmm. Oh, like a... Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't want to walk into it, do you? Yes. Just a question. I suppose. But uh. By putting that there, then you can't accidentally fall into the smeltery. Oh, were you meant? Did you mean to leave that pillar there? I meant to leave that there. Oh, sorry. Well, I dug out the middle block, so I took them all out. But I can do it with limestone. I don't know. It might look fine with. Let's just get rid of that. Okay. All right. So we've done that. Good job. Now we just need to actually build it. I appear to have lost my cup. Why is it in that chest? Okay. Okay, so how do you make this... Hold on, I can figure it out. I don't even need to look up the... Uh... How do you make the what? Nothing. Okay. Grout? Seared, bri seared bricks? Oh, okay. That's easy. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're actually going to need glass. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course, for the tank. Um, I can do the glass bit if you want. I'll sort glass. Don't worry about that. Right. Up we go. I'm gonna go light up the mine shaft. Okay. With sixteen torches, it might be a bit difficult. Smeltery drain. How many drains do we want? Like Um I'd start with one. Because what because the smeltery drain itself takes more um more bricks to make. Mm -hmm. Right, right here, just get it up we just yeah, we literally just need it running. As soon as we've got it running, we can make better tools, and it's so much easier. But yeah,
Z, my side of the mine is winning now. I'll pick up the slack. That was really useful. My pick was about half durability, and I mined my way into a gravel pit. Oh wow! I think we're gonna have just enough to like get the bare minimum. What's Except the we do restricted need a casting resource? Table and a spigot. What's the a spigot? What? A seared faucet. Oh okay. I, what the hell is a casting channel? Um, as far as I know, it literally just allows you to cast from further away. Like, you attach that to the drain, and then you can make the casting bit Can further you, like, away. hook them up together, like, and have a bunch? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Yes, you can. I found bedrock and gold, but I can't mine either of them. Um, I don't think you can mine bedrock normally. Sorry, um, redstone. Why does it say bedrock? I have no idea why I thought bedrock. But, uh, yeah. Oh well. Okay, smeltery is up. Mm-hmm. So, in order to transport lava, that's the tricky bit. Clay um, buckets. You have to use clay buckets. But clay buckets, of course, aren't very good. And they break as soon as you've transported a single block. Do we have... Um, I have no idea where any lava is. Them. Hmm? You also need to cook them. Yes, but I've already cooked one. Do you have? Yes, yeah, just there. Clay bucket. Iguana tweaks. Cool. Could turn glass into glass tiles. Okay. Do we particularly want to? No, I want to. Okay. Oh, you fired another bucket. Okay. Okay. And you're cooking some more stuff. Okay, cool. So you've made the basic, and you're just making more to expand it immediately, because it's useful. Oh no, you're making, um... Yeah. Okay. The last taco! I've eaten my last taco, Z. Uh oh. I've started to starve. Like, starving damage? No. Okay, I was gonna say. I've got one and a half haunches. Although that's pretty much starving, I'll give you that. Yeah. I do have three tacos left, though. I don't want to eat them. No. But... Is there anything I can harvest in this farm? Nope. We need to find like an abandoned mine shaft. Do they have a load of food in them, basically? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like the glass tiles. Okay. Why are there cobble? Oh. Really? Uh, why are there what? The cobblestone slabs fell into the smeltery, and so it just puts them in the... Oh, that's cool. I suppose it can smelt them. So. I think it just takes anything that falls into it. Yeah, no, I mean, but you can smelt cobblestone. Hmm. 
For what? Um, it makes seared brick, but very slowly and at a much reduced rate, as it were. <gasps> Three soybean seeds. Yeah. Soybeans. Nice. And a parsnip. <laughs> we just won't mention that. <laughs> Less but, important, but also nice. Yeah. Getting there. Yeah, getting there. Okay, so what we need is... I have ten things of gravel. Oh, those seared bricks should be done. Yeah. Is that what? I have just enough for a drain and a faucet. Oh, how useful! Or not a drain, but a casting basin. Yeah, or well, casting table. If you had a casting basin, we would have been wrong. <laughs> I would have and just flipped uh, it upside down. Then we would have had a casting basin. What? Or a table. <laughs> okay. Right. So. That's pretty damn good for the amount of time we've been playing for. Yeah. Um, I mean, we need to find lava, but I think that's something we'll do between episodes, probably. Because mm -hmm. that could take a while. Um, I just but... stopped recording. Ugh. Yeah. Do a little stretch. <laughs> stretch. Oh, what time is it? It's 12.30. Mm-hmm. Ish. Roundabouts. Okay. Right then. <laughs> and I can... Uh... Could I make pancakes? No. Well, I mean, they can be made, but not without iron. I have flour. I have baking I think you need soda. salt. Oh, you mean in salt. real life? Yeah. Right. Sorry. Okay. Once we get some copper, and we make copper pickaxe heads, what are those mining level? What, is it still copper? Yes. And you affix heads to it. Or just mine a lot. Yeah. Or we could be cheeky and find an iron ore berry bush. Oh. Um. And then just wait. Because you can mine those with your fist. And yeah, you can just wait. Because you can actually either smelt the iron ore berries or you can actually craft them in a 3x3 three three to make an iron ingot. Hmm. So... Are they worth more if you smelt them? Uh, no. Okay. So they'd still be one tenth of a. or one ninth. Yes. Thank you very much guys for watching the end of the episode. Next time we're going to be going into the casts, we find some lava, uh, we're going to be making a whole load of improved tools and we're going to do more for Pam's Harvest Craft because I'll be honest, Z and I are both still starving. I've already run out of tacos and I'm pretty sure Z only has one left at the end of this episode. So that's going to be something we need to do pretty soon. Now, if you guys wanted to see this video from Zebolt's perspective, 
make sure you check that out link on the screen and in the description i have been told he's got a few clips that i haven't recorded that he has so you might want to go and check out his episode as well because while you'll see some of the same stuff it will be different if you want to find out more about the rise to elysium pack again check the link on screen in the description and you'll find that it is a completely new pack no one other than the andromeda network has access to it it's brilliant fun give it a go it puts in some additional challenges that regular uh, mod packs don't have. On top of that, if you want to see any information on the Andromeda network, make sure you click link on screen in the description. You know the drill, and it'll take you straight there to the website. Great bunch of servers. I really enjoy playing on them. I hope you guys will too. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I will see you all next time. This being Vralka. To talk for now.